Hey everybody, today I'm going to be walking you through how Kristen and I drive traffic to our direct booking website. Over the last year, Kristen and I have built this up and we have been testing a bunch of things and we can finally tell you how we have been driving hundreds of people to our website every month. A direct booking website is a website that people can go to that is not Airbnb, that is not VRBO, that is not owned by a company. Your website where you can book directly with the customers. Now, we chose to use Logify because we love that there is a built-in website builder, actually looks good and it doesn't look cheesy. There's a lot of functionality and you can go above and beyond and add more pages to your website. Also, there's great property management software. If you have more than one property, it's a great tool to have in your arsenal because it acts as a hub that Airbnb feeds into, VRBO feeds into, bookings.com feeds into. And so it's kind of like this one-stop shop that gives information to all these other websites. And so we've really loved using Logify. Today, I'm gonna walk you through how we have taken our direct booking website and turning it into something that's actually brought in extra bookings on top of what the, the normal platforms have brought in for us. There's a couple ways that you can drive traffic to your direct booking website. When you set up your website, some people think that that's the end of it, but it's like going fishing. You're not gonna catch fish if there's no fish in the pond that you're actually fishing in. So if you're just making your website and then praying that somebody's gonna find it, that is not a very effective strategy. And unless you spend money on Google ads, no one is going to find your website and it's not gonna be ranking. The first tip, if you're not gonna do any of the other tips, the number one thing I would suggest is figure out how to do SEO for your own website. SEO stands for search engine optimization. And really that's just a fancy term for using the correct words so that when people are searching, your website gets tagged correctly. When people are searching those terms, your website gets found. What that means is in the metadata of your page, on the back side of your page, there's a metadata section. Make sure that is filled out with all of the keywords about your home. Also, in the paragraphs describing your home, on the home page, make sure that there are words specific to your property. We own an Airbnb in the Joshua Tree area. So the very first text on our website says, the perfect getaway in the Joshua Tree area. We have listed out all of the close to Joshua Tree National Park, which is a highly searched term, close restaurants, amazing views, all of these words that people would be searching for to book a short-term rental, you need to make sure that they are present and in your description. Now, one way that you can do this that we utilize is using a website like ChatGPT. It is a language model AI that you can dump text into and ask it certain things and it'll rewrite the text for you. So essentially what we did is we took our Airbnb description and we ran it through there and said, rewrite this for SEO purposes for our website. We wanna get booked in the Joshua Tree area as a short-term rental. When you're using any AI, make sure to read through it because it is not always like the best. Name the location in multiple places of your website that your house is, bedrooms, bathrooms, any amenities that you might have. We have a stargazing platform, we have a hot tub. So make sure you mention all of the things that are going to make your listing stand out. Make sure they're strategically placed in your description to sound natural, but just make sure they're there for the search engines. The second method that you can use to drive traffic to your direct booking website is using social media. Now, in the future, we are going to be making a video all about social media and how you can be using social media to help bookings on your property. Now, not every property is going to be right for social media. If it's just a whatever apartment that you're doing for business people or traveling nurses or something like that, it's not necessary. It does help with social verification. It's kind of like when you 
when you, somebody's like, oh, you should check out this person, you go and check out their Instagram profile. It's always nice having social media so that people can verify that your home isn't creepy, it actually exists, or it's not a scam, or something like that. So we are going to be diving into how to implement social media, but we would recommend having some presence on social media because if people want to book your home and they find your property on social media, they see a pretty photo, they see a friend that's tagged your place, somebody that stayed at your property tag your place, and you have the link in your bio of how to directly book, that is another way that you can be driving traffic to your website. Another way that this is helpful is there are those savvy customers out there that obviously watch TikTok and know the hacks that a direct booking website does not usually have the normal fees that come with VRBO and Airbnb. So what travelers will do is they will find the house on Airbnb that they like and then search the name of the house and try and find it on social media to save 10, 20% on the fees. So if you do not have social media and you do not have the link to your direct booking website in your social media, you might be missing out on savvy shoppers that are looking for a good property and looking to save some money. That is the second way that we would recommend just be on social media. Now the third and most important and valuable way that you can be driving traffic to your direct booking website authentically and organically is to set up your website properly to have a blog. Most direct booking websites don't have this functionality, but with Logify, you can add separate pages. You can add extra pages, as many as you want, to your direct booking website. And what we have done is use the folder feature in our main navigation to create a blog. Each entry in that blog is a new page under that folder. So far in the last year, we have created two blogs on our website that have proven very successful. Now what we're doing here is we are creating content that people are searching for. And instead of companies like Yelp and TripAdvisor getting those views, one thing that we believe is that the best way to get information is from friends and locals. And so we are providing our local knowledge of the area on our blog and that is bringing people to our website. The two examples that we have done so far that have proven very fruitful is a local restaurant guide. And what we have done is gone through and listed our five favorite restaurants in the Joshua Tree area. Actually, no, we've done the seven because the name of our property is the Seventh Ray House. We did the seven best restaurants in Joshua Tree area. We went through and we listed our top seven and we use keywords in, in this article. Feel free to read through it. We have listed them out, made it easy for the person to digest, added tags to the restaurant's website. We have done hours on here, open Thursday through Sunday, and you'll need to go through and make sure these stay updated. So check them quarterly or every, every year, make sure your information is up to date. We have done the seven best restaurants and the best coffee shops in the area. And what we have found is that hundreds and thousands of people that are coming to the area are searching these things and they are getting our website mixed in with bigger websites. And now you might be saying, okay, well, people are coming to your website, but how does this turn into people that are actually booking your website? Well, most of the people that are looking for restaurants are potentially coming to the area and trying to plan their trip. What we have done at the bottom of our website, once you finish reading the article, we have added a thing that says, looking to stay in Joshua Tree, book your stay here now. So you're essentially funneling people in who are curious about coming to the area and you're giving them a place to stay. So our property is featured right there, ready for them to book directly. There's also a little blurb about us so that people know that the article is coming from an authentic person and not just a company or it's not auto-generated. Um, and these are actually our favorite restaurants. These are the restaurants that we recommend to our friends and our guests when they come out to the area. Same thing with the coffee shops. Now the cool thing about this strategy is that the sky is the limit. If you are in a place like New York City, downtown LA, where there are tons of things to do, you can have 20 blogs on your website, all feeding traffic to your house. The next thing on our list to do is attractions, hikes, off-roading. You know, you really can get creative with this and you really can provide a lot of value because that's the thing here. We're providing value to people and in turn, there's a potentiality like one to 
2% might actually end up booking your house. The best part about this is that it's free and anybody can do this if they have a direct booking website, especially one with Logify or something like that. We love the way ours is set up because it's actually really easy to create. If you're wondering about analytics and tracking analytics, we have connected our website from Logify to a Google search console. And what that does is give us insights to see how many people have been coming to our website. So in the past 28 days, we have had 438 people come to our website that normally wouldn't come to our website. From these 438 clicks on our website, one person booked and it was a $700 booking. And it's in like March or April. So it's a future far out booking that we know we have revenue coming in and it was a good quality booking. In the last 28 days, we have gotten 311 clicks on our restaurant guide. We have gotten 84 clicks on the coffee guide and then just 33 clicks in general on the homepage. So this is proof that if you build it, they will come. If you provide value, people will see that. And then hopefully in turn, like I said, 1% even of that, that I believe one booking out of 400 and something is less than 1%. But if there's any math people out there, tell me the percentage of that. Not bad, honestly, not bad. Now, if you are want to get more aggressive with this, of course, there are ways that you can set up ads in Google so that your direct booking website ranks higher than others and shows up first, but we're going for the most bang for our buck here. And this one reservation that we got has already covered our the payment for our direct booking website for the year. And now anything else on top of this is just time that we put into writing more blogs and free money that's coming in on top of our Airbnb cash flow and VRBO cash flow. Like I said, the sky is the limit with this. And one thing that you can do is pretend like you're gonna be a guest in your area and go and search on Google and see what you would search. Let's say you're in Scranton, Pennsylvania. Type out Scranton, Pennsylvania short-term rental or Scranton, Pennsylvania and see what Google fills in. That Those are the top searched queries. Maybe you can make your own version of that content and provide your own value. So really get creative with this. So in 2024, we are going to be ramping up how we use our direct booking website and hopefully get more direct bookings on here. There is a whole video that we did on how to set up your direct booking website through Logify because that is a site that we just felt was the best and had all the features that we needed. So if you are interested in that, I will link the video below so you can go through and watch it. If you are actually interested in setting up a Logify website, we have a referral link down below that you can use. I believe you get 10% off your purchase when you use the code KM10. Hopefully you have found this helpful and hopefully you can get creative with your own direct booking website. And I can't wait to see if you guys implement this, let us know how it works for you. And if you are getting traffic to your direct booking website, this is what we're doing. And we are going to be amping this up, pairing it with social media, seeing if we can beat last year's numbers by adding all of this direct booking traffic through our Logify website. Thank you so much. Hopefully you've gotten something out of this video. And if you are into this kind of content, we do this sparingly. My wife and I, Kristen, have bought and renovated a home in Joshua Tree. We are working and learning as we go to make this listing the best possible for not only our guests, but for ourselves and our future income. Join us on this journey as we document what it's like owning an Airbnb and learn along the way with us. We have an amazing community. If you look down in the comments below, if you have any questions, we will try and help you learn with us. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. We'll see you on the next one.